Real Numbers Example Problems Part 2 This video is brought to you by GreatBooster.in In this video, we will discuss some important example problems from real numbers. Okay, let us see one more problem from rational numbers. Prove that root 5 is an irrational number. To prove that root 5 is an irrational number, let us assume root 5 is a rational number. That means we are writing root 5 as a rational number to prove that it is an irrational number. So let us do it. First write root 5 is equal to a by b. So a by b is a form of rational number. Rational number is in the form of a by b. So here we have written a by b. Here a and b are co-primes. So a and b b or co-primes. So you know what are co-primes? Co-prime means they have only one common factor that is 1. So that means they doesn't have any other common factor except 1. Now and b is not equal to 0. b must not equal to 0. So that is the thing. Root 5 is equal to a by b. So here now we are squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. Let me write it as SOBS. Root 5 whole square is equal to a pi b whole square. So squaring on both sides. Adding square on both sides. Here the square and root get cancelled. So 5 is equal to a square by b square. So now cross multiplication a square 5 is equal to 5 b square. This is considered as equation 1. By seeing this equation we can see that 5 divides a square. So if the 5, if we bring the 5 to other side it divides a square. So 5 divides a square. We can write it from this equation 1. If 5 divides a square, 5 divides a also. So write it as 5 divides a. 5 divides a. Then a is equal to 5k. We can write it as a is equal to 5k. k is the multiple of 5. This is equation 2. Now substitute equation 2 in equation 1. Substitute equation 2 in equation 1. Let us write it here. Here the equation 1 a square is equal to 5b square. Now we are substituting the value of a here. a is equal to 5k. So 5k whole square is equal to 5b square. 5k whole square is equal to 25k square is equal to 5b square. 5 ones are and here 5 fives. So 5k square is equal to b square. 5k square is equal to b square. Here the equation 1 and this one both are same. So we can write it as 5 divides b square. So if you bring the 5 to other side, it divides b square. So you can write 5 divides b square. 5 divides b square. That means 5 also divides, divides b. So 5 divides a, 5 divides b. So 5 is a, that is, 5 is a common common factor of A and B. So that is 5 is the common factor of A and E. Divides, 5 divides A and 5 divides B. Which is impossible. So it is impossible because they are the condition A and B are co-primes. It means that they have only one as a common factor. They don't have any other common factors except one. But here we got five. So from this
which is impossible because A and B are co-primes. So therefore, our assumption is wrong. What is our assumption? Root 5 is a rational number is not correct. So our assumption that root 5 is a rational number What is our assumption that root 5 is a rational number is not correct. That is wrong. So this is false. So our assumption that is root 5 is a rational number is false. So therefore root 5 is an irrational number. Rational. Here we have one more example problem from real numbers. Let's see that. Prove that root 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number. So let us assume root 3 plus root 5 is a rational number. So to prove that it is an irrational number, let us assume root 3 plus root 5 is a rational number. So we have seen in the previous example just as like that root 3 plus root 5 is equal to a by b a rational form so we are assuming that it is a rational number we are writing it as in the form of p by q and a and b are co-primes root 3 plus root 5 equal to a by b where A and B are co-primes, that means they have only one common factor that is 1. Now we have to do squaring on both sides. Before we do that, just move that root 3 to the other side of equal to, let us write it as root 5 equal to A by B minus root 3. So we have written the root 3 on the other side. Now squaring on both sides, root 5 whole square equal to a by b minus root 3 whole square. Here the square and root get cancelled. So here we get 5, 5 equal to this is in the form of a minus b whole square. a square that is a square by b square plus b square that is root 3 whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab 2 into here a is a by b a by b b b is nothing but root 3 so here we get 5 equal to here root 2 and square root of the 3 get cancelled. So a square by b square plus 3 minus 2 a root 3 by b. Now we are bringing the negative term to the other side and 5 to this side. So we get 2a root 3 by b is equal to a square by b square plus 3 minus 5. The next step by simplification we get 2a root 3 by b is equal to a square by b square minus 2. 3 minus 5. It is minus 2. Now 2a root 3 by b is equal to here we have to do the LCM. a square minus 2 into b square 2b square by b square. Here this square and uh, 
b get cancelled 2a root 3 is equal to a square minus 2b square by b root 3 is equal to here 2a is multiplying root 3 so we bring the 2a to the other side a square minus 2b square by 2ab since a and b are positive integers or positive integers so a square minus 2b square by 2ab is is rational rational this is of the form a by b or p by q so root 3 is rational which is contradiction which is contradiction therefore our assumption or assumption assumption that root 3 plus root 5 is a rational number is false therefore root 3 plus root 5 is an irrational number irrational number